welcome back to another exciting Unity 3D and Playmaker tutorial with me Rumi Fauzi. And we are going to continue our Photon Unity Networking uh, tutorial series. And I think this is the sixth episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, character animation in this uh, networking games and how to sync the animation across the network. Okay. Uh, because uh, this topic has been asked uh, a couple times from uh, from a couple of the audience so I decided to create this because it's also important to sing the animation and I I'll try to explain my my best so if you have any questions just co uh, leave any questions on the comment below so let's get started okay here this is our project and this is our uh, uh, scene where we have created the scoring system last time and in order to create the character animation I have uh, imported a couple asset before so I'm going to show you which asset that I have imported I have imported the asset the character asset it is called I think it's ah, this one a cyber soldier I, I, I'm using uh, this for our tutorial here so just go ahead and download and import the the asset to your project if you want to follow this tutorial and the other one is a the this one uh, let me search for it okay this one this is the RPG character mechanism animation pack free and uh, I've downloaded and import this but upon importing I s only select the f animations folder so uh, I leave the other folder unchecked because I only need these animations here this animation file here so and as you can see here in my project folder I have downloaded the cyber soldier and also I have downloaded this RPG character animation pack and it is only the animations folder okay so let's get started okay now we need to uh, modify our player object so I'm going to drag this player object here and then I'm going to rename this uh, a player mechanism and I'm going to create this as a new prefab so I'm not uh, I'm not going to replace our old prefabs here but I'm going to create a new prefabs and for this new prefabs let's modify the character here so I'm going to delete the object here just remove the mesh render and let's go to our cyber soldier folder and drag the prefabs here as the child of our player mechanism object okay there you can see and let's adjust the character so the feet align with the bottom part of the capsule collider let's do that I'm going to disable the playmaker logo there so it doesn't obscure our, our view I'm going to push this downward the cyber make sure it's the cyber soldier but not the player mechanism that you are uh, translating and then let's go back to our parent object to see how there is still a gap there I'm going to change this to to the view so it's easier to see if it's already aligned or not almost just a little bit more and then yep I think that would be sufficient okay go back to 3d view and for the player mechanism we are going to create a new animator so basically our object already have an animator right but I'm going to remove this and we are going to use this avatar to be the avatar of this animator so we are going to put the animator on the parent object so let's delete this one and go to the player mechanism and choose this cyber soldier avatar and let's create a new animator controller so I'm going to create a new mechanism character as the name of our animator controller and let's put this animator controller inside the controller of our animator component here and I'm going to drag the animator window 
to the top view here and as you can see our mechanism is still empty so we need to insert a couple of animation okay I'm going to go to our asset project here and browse the animation under the RPG character animations unarmed and I'm going to use an idle animation also a run animation and last I'm going to use the death animation okay so now we need to create transition I'm going to create transition from idle to run and backward from run to idle and also from any state to death we need to create parameters uh, to control the transition so I'm going to use this um, I'm going to create a float parameters as uh, and I'm going uh, and I've named that float parameter speed and I'm going to create a trigger and this is for the death animation so that and now I'm going to assign the float speed to this transition here so for the idle to run we are going to assign a speed uh, under the condition using the speed float but the value is greater than 0 0.1 and from run to idle I'm going to add a condition where the speed is less than 0 0.1 and I'm going to uncheck has exit time on both of the transition okay so yeah there you go as you can see there under our preview it's blending nicely from idle to running okay so now we need to set the transition from any state to death and make sure that the condition is dead uh, and trigger doesn't have any parameters so it only trigger once and it will goes to this transit uh, go to this state and just leave the other settings and one thing you need to make sure if you are using a custom death animation make sure the clip from your death animation under uh, inside this uh, file this clip here make sure the loop time and loop pose uh, both of them are unchecked so it doesn't the animation doesn't looping you can see here under the animation uh, just disable this uh, both of this option here make sure it's disabled so it doesn't the animation doesn't get uh, play uh, looping okay so now I think that will be all for our uh, animator and now let's go to playmaker and let's make a couple changes to our FSM here so I'm going to edit instance not edit prefab so I'm going to edit this instance and later when we already uh, edit modify all of the FSM then we can apply the setting to our prefabs so here I'm going to store the magnitude at, as of this moment the axis factor here it doesn't store anything on the magnitude so I'm going to store to a new variable so let's call this move speed so this is actually a float and when the character is moving this fa uh, the value of the magnitude uh, is going to be greater than zero so we can use this to drive our speed uh, float under the animator here so okay now let's create a new set animator float action where is it oh there you go and maybe we can put this yeah it's below it's okay and we don't need to change the game object because our animator resides on the parent object so we can just type the parameter which is speed with capital S just like the one here and make sure there are no mistake in capitalizations this must be the same uh, the same because it, it is case sensitive and set the value to a uh, the value to a use variable which is we are using the move speed value and make sure it is every frame okay so that is for setting the animation and now I'm going to save the scene first and we need to also uh, edit our health manager because here we have a set visibility and basically the game object requires a render component and at this as of this moment we have deleted uh, our the capsule the sorry the, the the capsule 
component and also the mesh render so we need to assign this to a different object and now our object is basically the render is in the child object under the cyber soldier so if you can if you can see here this is the cyber soldier it doesn't have a mesh render whatsoever but here under this mesh object it does a skin it does have a skin mesh render so we need to access this component so go back to our player mechanism and drag this cyber soldier here the with the the one with the skin mesh render component and make sure it is set to set visibility and also for the blinking part here we need to also specify game object and drag this cyber soldier also under the dead state I also set the visibility here and drag the cyber soldier I think that will be all okay for the health and let's save this and now when the player is dead we don't need to use add force but we can drive the an animation so I'm going to uh, uh, copy set visibility so I'm going to enable our cyber soldier but I'm going to hide our weapon so I'm going to set this to invisible by unchecking the visible option and I'm going to drag the weapon object as the game object so when the player is dead the, the cube that is the weapon gets uh, gets hidden yeah? okay so now we need to add a new action which is a set animator trigger and I'm going to put this below the add force and I'm going to trigger the dead parameter so this one so when the player is dead it will trigger this animation so yes let's save the scene and uh, click on our player mechanism and click apply so this settings gets applied to the prefabs also s delete the player save this save the project and choose the game manager and under the spawn player the spawn player state here the open the photon network instantiate and we are going to spawn not the player but the player mechanism yeah that one so let's spawn this object and let's save the scene again save the project and let's try it see if it's working uh, just locally first okay there you go we can see we have the character and it's moving with animation okay so now we need to create a syncing uh, animator component so let's choose the character prefabs uh, sorry not the prefabs under the resource folder the player mechanism and here we need to create a new component so basically we need to create a photon animator view and photon animator view will automatically detect all of the layer that we have inside the animator this layer here base layer and also the parameter as you can see uh, where is it sorry uh, inspector lose focus here okay all of the parameters are get disabled basically what we need to change is for the speed we need to change speed to continuous because uh, we need to send the speed float uh, continues to detect uh, the current state uh, whether the player is moving or is standing still and for the dead files we can use discrete so it uh, use it use uh, less less uh, bandwidth or less latency con compared to continuous and then under the obs uh, the photon view the observe component click plus and drag the photon animator view to this observe component so this component gets sent to the other client on the network okay when using trigger make sure this component is less in the stack okay yeah it's less we can less in the stack okay I, I'm not sure what does this mean but let's try it first okay I'm going to save the projects again and hopefully it's working 
okay go build setting uh, I'm going to build the tutorial ones because this is the scene that we ha we are working on go to the build tut uh, build tutorial folder I'm going to save this replace this and I'm going to build okay once it's get built it will open the folder and let's run this and here let's also play the our seed on the editor here and and play this one also okay so now let's create a room first okay and I'm going to move the character to the side so it doesn't collides with the created character just use any name here and join room oh okay as you can see here if I move the character uh, on this client here it's also sync the animation over the network there is a lag and I think that can be optimized uh, later but as for now the basic function is working and if I move this character you cannot see it but if I uh, make the unity window is smaller here uh, you can see that my player is moving and if I try to shoot the player here let's kill the other player see if the dead animation is working or not one more yep there you go as you can see we have a fully functional uh, networking with uh, character and also animations uh, are get synced over the network okay that will be all for this episode uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you like what you are watching please subscribe I also really appreciate any donation if you could do donation it really helped me to create uh, more uh, more content quality content okay I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.